Salutations friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special and exciting video. I have Tina from The Critical Virgo and Carlos, Brooklyn fragrance lover. What's up, what's up? Yeah, and today we're going to, I'm gonna share with them some of my favorite fragrances from Maison Lancome, and we're also going to um, try some new ones that I haven't tried from them as well. So, let's, let's get into it. Yeah. Well, we gotta tell them. I'm on vacation in Florida. Oh, yes, oh I'm, my gosh. I'm in your neck of the woods. That's right. If you're wondering, me and Tina are not in Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Carlos is visiting his family. He's in Plantation, Florida. So we were mm -hmm. really excited. We got together. We had dinner. We smelled a whole had bunch of things. Had a great, great night. You know what it's like to go out with um, six or seven perfume friends? They all come with samples. So here we are <laughs> at, um, <laughs> what was that? Bellagio, Sawgrass Mills. Sawgrass Mills, Bellagio Italian restaurant. The place is all orange. All our pictures came on orange. But <laughs> we had millions of samples and everybody's sniffing and doing yeah, it. Was a big it was fragrance an awesome. Bomb. Yeah. It was my, awesome. My poor husband, he's the only one there that does like fragrance. He's just like, this, this, all these fragrances are making my sprite taste, sprite taste fruity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he's so patient. He's he was so really wonderful. patient. He's wonderful. Big ups to her, honey. Yeah. He, uh, he supports her right now. He does He didn't complain not once. And even when I tried to bring him into the perfume talk, he did try. He did. He's, so, he's yeah, great. A nice guy. He's a good sport. He's supportive. That's wonderful about him is he's very supportive. So anyway, and I'm talking about my husband. We're going to talk about <laughs> juice. So I have my, th my three bottles of Maison um, Lancome. As you guys know, I love this line. This is what I wore actually last night. Oud Bouquet. Um, then we have Le Autre Oud. Um, which is in this one. This is the older bottles, and then this is Jasmine's. Yeah, we're shaking. Hey, hopefully we don't fall off. So let's start with. Well, you guys smelled this one last night, so we'll just kind of refresh and let you guys let them know what you guys think. Because I want more people to talk about these fragrances. I love them. Hmm. I can smell it from here. Yeah. Just that. And which one was the one that Delicious Delights talked about? That this, one? yeah. Okay. This is Oud Bouquet. Actually, I first learned about this from Delicious Delights. I believe she called this her Holy Grail Oud fragrance. Um, it's got rose. It's got it's got like, the sugar it's aspect. Rose. This is big and lush, and um, like this is not something to wear every day. No, no. This, this is like dressed to the nines, like dressed up. It's a it's a it's a great oud for people who maybe are just getting into oud because it has that kind of like sweet gourmand aspect of it that kind of it's not too intimidating. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, not too I wear this for day funky. Night. Yeah. It's, well, I I mean I've smelled some funky stuff before. This <laughs> is not funky at all, but I would wear this for date night. Oh, I would too. I wouldn't wear it to the office, but. <laughs> I know but no, you will not wear that on date night because your honey doesn't like black gold. I know. But... <laughs> I'm trying to get away with it. <laughs> See, then I, my husband hates fragrances, but he actually likes oud. He likes oud. He likes bat from zoologist. Wow. Yeah. So he's like the ones I think. No, not that I don't like it, but that's not a. Yeah. That's a, a challenging aroma. It, it is. It's very conceptual. Like it's, and he's just like, yeah, that smells nice. You can wear that. I like the smell of some man too. I mean. I I think that's like I, I really really like really. really Really nice. I would wear this, but I'd like it on a man. Yeah. I'd totally wear this. So, we all like Oud Bouquet. Oud Bouquet. So this house is called... Um, uh, Maison Lancome. Basically Maison Lancome. what this is, this is kind of like, and I don't know the exact... Okay, as you guys know, I'm really horrible when it comes down to speaking and information. All the information of all these fragrances will be linked in my description box mm -hmm. below with the noses and the full notes of all of them. But basically, um, Lancome reached out to six, now eight, because they've expanded their collection from six to eight. Very prominent noses in the business and created special fragrances. Yeah, to pay. the so lineup of noses for this line is incredible. incredible. It's like... I saw so um, uh, the the booth for this line at Bloomingdale's, they had a whole smelling station, pictures and portraits of all the noses, and wow. um, like these like like ceramic things that yeah, you pick up and you smell. Were, the smelling stations you were telling yeah. me, yeah, those are yeah. So I love this line. So let's go to this one. So yeah, I will link all the noses below because this first. might yeah. restore my faith in line column. I gave up on them after Miracle. No, there's some Lancome beauties, like um, Lancome leather, leather. This one's a little Quid bit Lancome. smoky to me. It's not as sweet. It's a little bit more woody, ambery, I think. This is easier to wear, I think, for... I think a lot of people love gourmands, but it can be really hard for people to want to smell like delicious food. I don't, I don't, well, I don't, I mean, it's, it's sweet, but it's not overly sweet. Like It's lighter. Yeah, this is more daytime. Like, that one was more nighttime. This one's more daytime. 
I like it. I wouldn't go for a Would you one. say this is a wedding day scent for a man? Yeah. Yes. Right? Yes. Barbie. Or a woman. Or a special occasion, say you're going out for like an anniversary or um, like a special dinner like Valentine's Day, it's like... This is not, um, this is not light and airy or not. This has a complex list of notes here yeah, that I smell, not. but it's it's definitely um, tamer than, than this one. Yes. But it's not like a designer No, boring. it's not like yeah. something you wear to the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could, it would just be Some people do. Yeah. I've weird. been downwinded at the beach by Angel. I, I heard was like, you say that wearing Angel when I'm trying to relax on the beach? I mean, come on, really? <laughs> no, this would be a bit much. <laughs> But I do like this. I like one better. I know. Oud Bouquet is outstanding. So let's go with one of my personal favorites in general. Are we each picking a favorite out of these? Yeah, let's, okay. let's do that. Um, this is Jasmine's Marzipan Jasmine. And uh, the almond in Cheers. this is actually almond wood. It's not so much like the, like the two different almonds. You can have the nutty almond. You can have the uh, marzipan almond where it's kind of like more like a dessert. This is, um, to me, more of like a woody. Next, this is one of my. That one I'm excited about. Oh my gosh, this one! <sighs> it's, it's so nice. I love. Like the... I want to spray this one. <laughs> that is that is uh, that is absolutely gorgeous. That is absolutely gorgeous. Definitely a white floral jasmine, but nothing in Dalek thus far. Not yeah. in the first spray, and anyway. I, and I like in Dalek fragrances, but sometimes it can be too heavy. And mm -hmm. so when I saw the marzipan, I was. Kind of worried it would go more towards the mar like the marzipan. Can marzipan. I embarrass myself? What's marzipan? Marzipan oh. is this stuff. I look at brown hair. Almond paste. It's like a small okay. collection. The you stuff ever, that they mold. Okay. You, ever, you ever go into a candy shop and you see those little fruits and they're like the like little apples and okay. little lemons and they look painted? Those are marzipan fruits. So My girl from Florida taught me some <laughs> food stuff so, today. This so, is a masculine jasmine. It's yeah. the most versatile. Yeah, I think it's the one of them that's the easiest to wear as well. That, this is a beauty. I, yeah. I do love this. Like, um, I have several jasmine fragrances that I do love. Um, this could easily fall into that list. No, I Up and coming on BFL, like my top buyer, uh, jasmine list. It's giving you a little... <laughs> I really like I it. I love that one, kiddo. I Thank love you. it. That's oh my gosh, this one. This is my favorite so far. Okay, so now what we're doing is I have some samples because I went in my... My sex finally has it. I have two of the new rose ones to try. Oh, they're different. Okay. Yeah. So this is Parfait de Roses and Robes Berber Berbernanza. I'm sorry. Burber, 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 burber. Can you pronounce burber, burber, it any better than me? Let's see. I'm first uh, oh. a little buzzy on the scotch. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Me. Yeah. Roses Berberanza. Berberanza. Okay. Don't even ask me. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is their um, their lavender or Lavande Triana. I'm not a huge lavender fan. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. try it. This is definitely to is me. Is it herbal? Lavender, like? You'll see. Okay. Uh, this actually reminds me of it. I used to manage a tea shop, and this reminds me of one of our lavender teas that had like crystallized violet in it. Sounds awesome. It, oh, I went to the tea shop that you used to work at. I used to manage Tivana back when it was ground floor. Oh, that's, but that's nice. I do like that. was nice. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I got the whiff. Yeah, no. I got it, the it, upwind. That, I, I, could, I, I like that. Too. It's when did I decide I don't like lavender though? Lavender I, can smell really too soapy. Synthetic. But there's some like medicinal lavenders, like so even some like the oils they say to buy so you can sleep at night. They smell some not good. Some smell no. good, but some of them smell horrible. Yeah. I like them mixed with like vanilla. Yes. That's my favorite like, combo. Like Bath and Body Yes. Bath and Body Works. Yes. You have that sweet smell, the um, lavender with the vanilla. That's my there's favorite. A, there's a puppy. That's my friend's here. I love, I love that one. <laughs> yeah, that one's amazing. That's probably oh, that's gonna really be pretty. That's probably that one or one of the roses because I did smell it in the store would be one of my next buys from them. Like I would like this in a diffuser, in an oil diffuser. Yes. This would be really relaxing if you like burned it at night. Actually, if you spray this on before you went to bed, that would be very calming. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. That. You know what? I think the that one and this one right here are my favorites. Um, are are. Are the, they're, they're less complex than these other guys. But there's a beauty in simplicity yeah, sometimes. Absolutely. But they're not This is this is like a hint of like crystal sugar in the background. Just a touch No, of that's it. the background rouge on my <laughs> We've done a few other videos before. Check out everyone else's channel. Alright, so down below. 
Everyone, everything will be linked. You guys and by the way, in case you were wondering, like, if she's just as cool as she is on her videos with her cute little backdrop and shit, she's the bomb. She's yeah. awesome. How about Maison Lancome. Maison Lancome, which is basically like Lancome's kind of like you know like the Privé line from Armani and less exclusive oud. from Chanel. It's, it's a lot of oud. Do you like oud though? Um, so so. <laughs> Not that much. Cause you always okay. like kind of like strong things. I always found. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, oud for some reason depends how, I mean, if it's too woody or too skanky, I'm not really a big skanky okay. soul exclusively wear. Um, it's at Bloomingdale's and I think Bergdorf. Okay. And you can get it on Lancome online as well. So let's, what's the last one? You spray the well, last we one? Two, no, I haven't. I need a new strip. You spray the last one and we'll wrap this up and... Uh, we have two more. We got two more. Two. That's me. <laughs> I'm wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like that one? Yeah, I have it. Yeah. Alright, so the next one is the one with rose and rose liquor. This is the extra. For $120 more. Oh, wow. This smells pretty rose similar. Rose liquor? I like mm -hmm. the original. I like this one. Yeah, I'm happy that I'm Super strong, yeah. So she doesn't do like rose. It's light. Yeah, it is. It's good for summer. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could see anybody at any age wearing this. Like, young girls, older women. Older men. Older men. I like it when men wear feminine fragrances. This this smells um. It's not as exciting as the other. I can't see a lot of men. The least exciting of all of these, and this smells kind of like on like the fruity. It's gonna be fun video. He said he's gonna come for ten minutes, so. No, it's great. Should we cut and then? You know, it's funny. My parents are from Colombia, and this reminds me of the soda called um, Cola Roman, Roman soda. It's like a reddish kind. of... So that's supposed it's to be too? identical. It's it's supposed to be rose and it's not bad rose liquor. Like it's uh, how much is it? This is I think hundred and ninety-five dollars. For this one, yeah. That's, I don't know. That's I, I, I yeah. think these other guys are, are worth it. Let me just ask this guy if he likes this one. Jasmine Marzipan. Smell that it's if like you want to spray it on you or something. Smelling sure. things. There you go. Might be here. Here, Becky. Oh. But now it's on you. <laughs> Hopefully your wife likes some more. Jasmine's and Mars really nice. I, I like this one a lot. That's like kind of my favorite next to this one. This one not bad. Bad. No! No? And this is coming from someone who's not like crazy about like florals too, so. Yeah. No, no, this yeah, is I'm, I'm not a big floral man. I mean, there's some that I, I enjoy, but I'm not a big huge. Do you like lemon? This is not bad. I sure do. Here's the last one. This is one. You might like that one. They're all mixed up now, so there's no order on these test strips. Uh, Lavan, Lavandes, Triana. From this one? Yes, this is all from Maison Lavandes. Okay. You mind if I space for one mine here? You can go for it. Yeah. Of course. Get the ideal this? test. No, that's the best He's a musician way. too, he plays the accordion. <laughs> that's such an awesome <laughs> instrument! I have an accordion in my house that my friend gave to me. A perfume blogger friend, she just wanted out of her house. But I don't think I could ever attempt. Do you think if I can play the keyboard, I can play the, the accordion? Um, you have, you have yeah. a good chance, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. What do you think? I love it. It's so good. I love it. There's something it's like... like it's, like a, it's like a sweet lavender, I mean, Yeah, like definitely... a crystallized sugar, like, you know. Have you ever had, like, ever, ever eaten, like, um, like, candy flower petals? It's kind of what it reminds me of. Mm -hmm. But it's not sweet. Yeah, it's not overly awesome. sweet. They're yeah. so delicious. It's like, like cotton candy, I'm getting, like, a Yeah, candy but it's candy. still, like, something, like, that's not sweet and it's not, like, juvenile. There's something really sophisticated about it. I love it. So we have this last one. Um, can you pronounce it again? Because I just, you know, I can't do that. Uh, between 180 and $195. Perfect. For a hundred mil bottle, and I think... I was, I thought I was, they changed it, for, this is the old bottle, mm -hmm. okay. and these are the new bottles, I think, I said was why, but these are pretty freaking fantastic, look, got the notes and stuff, and the gold plates, Super that's pretty nice. nice. Yeah. The heavy, they're, they're just, you feel like they're Rose cosmetic. Yeah. Roses Yeah. Roses This is right on my alley. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. This is the bad thing about sniffing, then you want to go and research, and then you want to go buy them. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes, I'm excited about this one, okay. This is rose with spice and pistachio. Ooh, I like pistachio. I like the idea of this one. I've eaten pistachio nuts my whole entire life. What do they smell like? Do they actually have a smell? A I, don't, I don't recall as well. They're a little fruity. Really? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is my next one. Well, that's nice. I can smell it. I like I got it down. That's my, I got it down. That's my next one. Done. I thought it was going to be the last. Which means nacho guy's not going to like it. Yeah, probably we'll not. That is, that is very sweet. Yeah, I can't oh, but that's not sweet. It's sweet in a 
in a different it's, kind of way. It's kind of like you ever have like a pastry and it's not sweet, but it's still like a pastry. Ooh, and well, it's I, I, I like it. Like yeah, tart. That is going to be my next bottle. We'll look for my next haul, probably August. And when I move into Florida, I'll be moving in with um, her for a little while. <laughs> Just so you have a greater stash. Yeah. Still in my favorite, but I like it better than the other than rose the one. one. Yeah. The Parvada Roses is really nice, but I feel like you've said before, it's not... I mean, it's not that it's not worth that, but you can find things, away. yeah, out of the entire other one. Yeah, that could fall into a genre of a lot of designers, Yeah, I think. And I think the other two that they have are two other Oud fragrances as well. So. There's some, uh, there are some other ones. There's, like, there's like seven or eight. There's eight. There's Oud Ambrosia and one other I don't remember. That might be one that I like too. But this one, I think, is really awesome. Did you smell this one? The yeah, that's okay? your favorites here. Yeah. That's your favorite. But, but oh, it's a little nice. challenging. I like, the, I like the, the lavender one. I love it. Wow. <laughs> yeah. This one's so nice. Four different noses, four different opinions. But yeah. overall, some nice stuff on this line, yeah. I think. Not yeah, I think line. so, too. And I really think more people need to experience this line. I'm not saying, like, go out there and like. But it's if you like fragrances and you like high-quality fragrances, this is a great line to just discover, you know? There's... And also the ouds aren't like that killer, like that yeah. funky, animalic, medicinal. It, it's oudy for nice sure. Sometime, but if you want to get into, if you want to dip your your toes into oud fragrances, these are great ones. Just for sure, with. yeah. Because some of those ouds are like it's just scary. like way too too much. Yeah, too I can also for me, you know. But, <laughs> yeah. So yeah, too that's much. that's my little video of sniffing with fragrance friends from Florida yeah. and a surprise guest in the middle. Yeah. Oh, this is great. <laughs> I love, out. Of course not. More people the merrier. So, so that's Zamir. Hello guys. Thank I'm you for having me. It was a pleasure Kristen, meeting you guys. Tina. Now remember to check out the Critical Virgos channel and Brooklyn Fragrance Lovers channel. If you subscribe to them, say hi. Because I'm saying hi. But definitely check them out if you haven't. They're amazing. Um, and thank you guys so much for liking this video. If you like videos like this, collabs, fun little sniffing journeys, remember to give this video a thumbs up. It's me to continue doing videos like this. And also don't forget to subscribe because it's free. And I'm free. I think. I don't know. <laughs> I put out new videos every Monday through Friday and sometimes on the weekends as well. So I'll always have something for you to watch. As always, Peace. you guys are all happy and healthy. Have a great day with you. Whatever.